Coming off a thrilling last second win at Eastern Michigan, the Ball State Cardinals return to Worthen Arena with a newfound confidence. In their way tonight, a Kent State team who's plenty confident of their own. Winners of four of their last five. It's the Mac West versus the Mac East and a crossover conference clash. And it's next on Sportslink. Oh, nice pass to Majuk, who got fouled on his way to the hoop. And it's a good thing for Kent State that Bryson Pope was there because Majuk was about to make a highlight reel out of that. Instead, he'll head to the line where he is one for six. Take a look at this. I mean, Majuk was ready to throw down big time. He was. But now he must earn him at the line where he has been decent on the season at 59%, but just one of six on the day, and he finally gets that one to go. And you hear it from the Cardinal faithful, cheering on the team, finally a point on the board from the line. But he can't hit the second. Got his own rebound. Majuk into the paint. Nice move, and he'll go back there. One thing about Majuk you constantly have to credit for him is he never stops moving. No. And that'll be his eighth rebound on the day, which leads all players. I mean, look here, he gets his rebound, and there's the foul. But for the guy who's shooting the foul shot to get the ball back, it's a credit to Majuk. That's just toughness. That's absolutely toughness. But we found something that Majuk is going to be working on after this game. Uh, it's not just Majuk either. He's. Now two for nine, three for 10. The Cardinals are three for 15 from the foul line. The Jeff State lead at 14 points. Henninger, nice pass down low, but Chris Bond got a handle on it, just enough to tip it out of bounds. The more he's in the game, the more comfortable he's gonna get. Next year, he's gonna be great. And Posley being at point guard, kind of allows them to open up guys like Juwan Scaife and Jesse Berry, and they don't have to find their own shot. Exactly. Out to Posley, he'll try a three. Oh yeah, and he can shoot the three ball. <laughs> he, is, he is going to be very good, and I, he needs to play more than he plays. He needs to be on the court a lot of the time. Lead cut down to 10 for Ball State. And there's Bond in with the steal. Bond will take it in and throw it down. Timeout on the floor. Kent State wants to talk things over as the Cardinals have cut a 16-point Kent State lead in half. Great run. Great job by the freshman Marcus Posley stepping in. And Chris Bond right here throwing it down like a man throws it down. Timeout, Kent State. Have we had some nice dunks here today or what? When you look at Majuk, the one you just saw from Bond, and then earlier from Chris Evans. <laughs> Barry into Majuk, who got fouled again. And a nice ovation here from the Worthen Arena faithful as Majuk will be taking his 13th and 14th shots from the line and can get Ball State within a point. I think he likes the empty lane, Pat. It's, it's decided. Has one more coming here. Has a student section, which was quiet for a lot of the game, now on their feet. Majuk gets that one to go. And for a Ball State team that was down at 18 at one point, it's now a two-point game. Randall Holt will run the point for Kent State. That's him guarded by Barry. Henninger bounces it out of the hands of Chris Evans. And I'll tell you, if anyone has just gone absolutely quiet, today it's in the second half, it's been Chris Evans, absolutely. who was all over the place in the first half. 